Cancer, what's good? Welcome to my channel. My name is Onwar, professionally known as DJ Onwar himself, and I do have an Instagram if you'd like to check it out, but if not, that's cool. If that's not the reason we're here today, right, Cancer? Today we're here to take a look into your recent past, your present, see what you got coming in for you. Keep in mind, not everything you hear is going to resonate with you, so take only what sounds like it belongs to you and leave the rest behind. All right, don't force it if it doesn't belong. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Placements. We're going to start off with the general uh, love reading. And then at the end, we're going to go through all 12 signs of the Zodiac to uh, kind of pinpoint who you're dealing with specifically. And then we're going to use the Unsent Messages Oracle deck that I created, um, which can be found at onwardstarot.com if you're interested. Also, if you need help getting over an ex, getting someone out of your head, you can visit onwardstarot.com. And that's also the same place that you can book private readings with me. All right, let's jump into your reading, Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? Please show me clear and accurate messages for Cancer. What's going on with Cancer? What does Cancer need to know? What's going on with Cancer in love? Yep, it's a love reading, so if you're not here for love, stick around, because you might find some. All right. Cancer, how you doing? You look good. All right. We got jumpers, bottom of the deck. Somebody's trying not to get caught. Somebody could be avoiding some type of arguments, too, but this looks like somebody's being sneaky and trying not to get caught. Somebody possibly could have got caught. Let's see what's going on here. First card out, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Turning point. Looks like, okay, so we got Sagittarius energy. We got Sagittarius crossing that. Knight of Wands crossing that. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, Passion and New Beginning of Love. In the recent past, Hangman. Somebody was trying to. Uh, somebody started seeing things from a different perspective, or trying to see things from a different perspective. Your conscious goal. You're curious. You want to spy on somebody. You want. You want uh, intelligence on somebody. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? Queen of Pentacles, upright. The way you see yourself. Your attitude. Knight of Pentacles, in the reverse. External to you. Oh, Six of Cups in reverse. Hopes and fears, temperance in reverse, and your outcome, we'll talk about that. All right, so, Cancer. So the situation here, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This tells me that there's some type of a turning point, something possibly that you weren't expecting could have come in. Um, good luck, good fortune, good karma. These are good things, and this is a turning point, something finally turning, something changing here. Crossing that, you have the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with somebody who's afraid of commitment. Somebody who just wants to play. I feel like you're curious about this person, too. You want to keep tabs. And um, in the root of the matter, we have the Ace of Cups, which is a passion and new beginning of love. In the recent past, you have the Hangman. I'm trying to see things from a different perspective. So it looks like you wanted something to change in whatever dynamic you're in. You're wanting something to change. Something possibly could have changed, but the situation is that you're dealing with somebody that's non-committal. It looks like you're wanting to go into some type of partnership, or there could be a partnership um, on the table, an offer for a partnership with the Ace of Cups. This is brand new energy. New beginning of love, overflowing with emotion, but you're dealing with the player. So I feel like you're keeping tabs on this person to see what they're, uh, see what they're up to. You could be watching their social media, spying on them a little bit. Uh, going through their comments to see who they talk to, see what they react to, scrolling like that, but trying not to accidentally hit like and let them know that let them know that you were there. The way you see yourself right now, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. In the upright, this is the slowest moving energy. This is something very stable, but very slow coming towards you. It's coming like this, really, really slow. But in the reverse, it goes, and that's that. <laughs> something possibly could have uh, you could be pulling back from a connection. Um, external to you, someone that you're dealing with. You have the Six of Cups. They have the Six of Cups in reverse. They're not having the best memories about you. They're not having the best memories about the situation with you. Possibly not wanting to reconcile. In your hopes and fears, you have Temperance in reverse, Sagittarian energy. You're fearing that somebody's losing their patience. You could be fearing that you're going to lose your patience. Tell me about the Hangman in the recent past for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, and Love. What's going on with Cancer? Please bring me clear and accurate messages for cancer. So, in the recent past, 
somebody had a hard time making a decision here they possibly could have chose someone else but it looks like they had a hard time making a decision here and they're really trying to get things get a new perspective on things before they made a decision or that possibly could have influenced their um their decision now the lovers in reverse that's normally i don't want to say normally that's usually a uh is a choice between two or more lovers it, it's the choices card but it's in the reverse so somebody even either avoided this choice they couldn't make the the they couldn't make the choice. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune, please? So, somebody didn't choose you, or you possibly chose elsewhere with the uh, lovers in reverse. And it looks like this new turning point is that you are walking away. You're going towards your good luck. You're going towards your happiness. That's the situation here right now. So this turning point could have been you were stuck in this hangman. You could have been stuck in this situation, feeling like you were stuck because somebody wasn't making a decision, and then something finally happened. I feel like you realized possibly that you're dealing with somebody who's non-committal, or this could be you who's not wanting a commitment, just kind of want to play, you know. But it looks like you're walking away from this, and this is you're 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 getting a clean slate here with the wheel of fortune upright. You're getting a clean slate, and you're going towards your good luck. You're going towards your uh, your fortune. What is the knight of wands in reverse? Jumpers. Fallers, Knight of Wands. So yes, yeah, like I was saying, you got some type of clarity on this situation. Found out that your person was non-committal. Um, it looks like you wanted to take a leap of faith with this person. It looks like you wanted to take a risk with this person, and you knew that they were a player. You knew that they were non-committal or just didn't want a commitment at the time. And it looks like you started to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Where before, you're like, nah, I don't know if I'm messing with that. That ain't really my cup of tea. That ain't really my party. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. But with this hangman here. You started to see things a little bit different, and you started to, hmm, maybe I will entertain this. Uh, what is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups, please? Ace of Cups, clarify by judgment. Could be dealing with the Sag. I got Sag. Um, I have Gemini. I have Heavy Sag. I got a lot of Sag. I have a lot, a lot of Sag. So, <laughs> yeah, a lot. So, anyway, somebody's making a judgment call here. Somebody's making a judgment call to possibly go into this connection here. I feel like somebody couldn't make a decision before because they were in non committal energy. And something changed. Something changed the dynamic with the Wheel of Fortune. But it could have been too late. Looks like you're already on your way out the door. You wanted to take a risk with this person, but again, this falls in the challenge position. You couldn't do it. You figured this out. You figured it out. You're like, you had some type of uh, aha moment and realized that you're dealing with the player. And I don't mean to keep calling him a player, but shit. Walks like a duck, talks like a duck, Aflac. <laughs> anyway, looks like somebody's making a final judgment call here. What is a page of swords for Cancer's conscious goal? So, you're keeping tabs on this person. You're curious. I feel like you're curious and want to see where they stand, see what uh, what they're doing, see what they're up to, see if possibly if they've changed. Because you're ready to take action. Like, you have you have a good idea. You have a good feeling. I don't even want to say a good feeling. You just have, like, a good... Um, it's like a, a... It's like a... It's something you're sure about. Like, you have confidence in it. If only. There's that if only. So you're watching this person to see, you possibly could be watching this person to see if they're taking action elsewhere, too. Now, these are two pages. Also, I have two pages for your uh, conscious. So this could be new, or you could be dealing with somebody who's younger than you, possibly dealing with somebody who is, um, they could be spiritually younger than you, or they could just be really immature. Immature as in underdeveloped, not as in you need to grow up. What is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse for the way Cancer sees his or herself? Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So, there was a, a relationship, a home dynamic, that never really got off the ground. You never really made it to that point. I feel like things stopped before it got to that point. It looks like this possibly could be a breakup too or possibly a divorce here with judgment ten of pentacles in reverse knight of pentacles in reverse 
so the way you see yourself right now this is disharmony in the connection this is feeling not welcome you possibly could be even feeling in the being in the house and feeling like you're not welcome there like you just don't belong um external to you in your environment you have the six of cups in reverse this could be a soulmate that you're dealing with this could be a past life lover this could be somebody that you are um connected to married to in the upright this would represent a reconciliation or even reminiscing about the past having good memories about the past somebody from your far past but your person has it in the reverse so they don't have the best memories they don't have the best thoughts about this they possibly don't want to reconcile I feel like you possibly want to reconcile with this but you're trying to walk away or they want to or they didn't want to reconcile I really don't see you wanting to reconcile but I feel like you do the situation is you're walking so you walking away possibly could have sparked this in them this could have this could have triggered them and now they feel like they need to make a judgment call Let's see. What is a six of cups in reverse for cancer? What is six of cups, please? For cancer. Pisces energy, moon in reverse. So they don't have the best memories about this. They possibly could have figured something out. Uh, the moon in reverse, some some uh, deception got got exposed, or just things being come clear. It doesn't even have to necessarily be lies. It could just be something coming clear, something they didn't realize. And again, I you have this Ace of Swords here. It's like, oh, shit, now I get it. Okay. Now I see. Could be done with the Pisces. Don't have to be. How does this, uh, how does Cancer see this person? How does Cancer see this person? You see them as they possibly are giving you some space. They could be taking some space, going within. They could be taking space from the whole damn world. They also could be a Virgo. They don't have to be. But you can see this person as just being closed off and just kind of just keeping to themselves while they figure things out. How does um, how does Cancer feel about this person? You could be needing space from this person, uh, Cancer. How does Cancer feel about this person? Oh, okay, well. The reason you're going in... <laughs> the reason you're going in because it's game over for you. You feel like it's game over. You are uh, you have the death card. Scorpio energy, transformation. And again, you have the Wheel of Fortune here for the first card out, the situation. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So there is a turning point. You're dropping something to go to something new here something new is starting or this just could be just again it's that aha moment but the way you see this person as going within uh closing off just space i feel like it's just space and then the way you feel about them is the death card game over i feel like that's what it was last time too the last rating i don't remember um how does this person see cancer jeez how they see you, the world in reverse. Still, they're they're not over it. They're still, they're still in this. Now, if whether they're over it or not, uh, this cycle hasn't closed out. This is still open, so this could be possibly going on right now. But whatever it is, the way they the way they see you is that you're either in still in this cycle or they are. In any event, they're feeling left out in the cold. You could have abandoned them, ghosted them. They could be closed off emotionally. And again, they could be guarding some secrets here. Either way, they feel like this is still open. Like this is you. They could still like you still belong to them, but this is still open here. And um, but they feel like they're just being kind of strung along, strung along, or or abandoned, ghosted. I feel like they don't think that you're really over it. Or that you're undecided again because you have the two of swords here and you have judgment so this person could be seeing you as you haven't really made a decision yet you could be all talk you could be talking about it not being about it because you do have the ace of cups here and judgment so this is in the world uh, in the reverse so this is still open I feel like it's still open possibly on your person side again this could be vice versa however you resonate whatever side you fall on that's where you belong how does um 
how does this person feel about cancer? Sign, please. How does this person feel about cancer? Sign. They feel like they're not getting their wish with you. They feel like this isn't, they didn't get their wish. It didn't fully take off. Nine of Pentacles, uh, I'm sorry, Nine of Cups. They didn't get that, that last cup to turn this into a Ten of Cups situation. It never happened. Things were going really slow. Here with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, things were going really slow, and shit just fell apart. What does this person not want Cancer Sign to know? What is this person keeping from Cancer Sign? What they don't want you to know is that they are unhappy. They are very unhappy. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Again, I have a lot of fire down here. But um, they're... They're really unhappy about this. I feel like this is, um, I feel like you're dealing with the Sag, Cancer. There's a lot of Sag uh, energy here. And you're dealing, yeah, you're dealing with someone who's non-committal, somebody who's a player. And I feel like they just want the good stuff. Like, they just want the, uh, they, they want the nookie. You know, they're, they're here for a good time, not for a long time. And you're walking away from this. In your hopes and fears, you have temperance in reverse. You could be fearing that of losing uh patience or i don't know i don't i don't necessarily get that this is a person losing patience you could just this could be a hope you could be hoping to drop a sag not all of you guys are dealing with the sagittarius um for those of you guys who are not again this is a general so it's going to be all over the place um you could just be fearing that someone is losing their patience or fearing that you're going to lose your patience not wanting to go with the flow uh fearing possibly someone's not going to go with the flow possibly jump the gun or go off and do their own thing what is the mutual uh, energy between this person and Cancer sign, please? The mutual energy. He's bringing clear and accurate messages. Mutual energy, conflict, petty fighting. Again, more fire energy, conflict, and not getting along. Crying over spilled milk. You guys could be uh, fighting over just petty things over the uh, in the house. Uh, I want the lights on. I want the lights off. Uh, I want butter. I want margarine. But this is petty. So there's a mutual energy between you guys. And uh, yeah, again, this person, they don't want you, they don't want you to know that they're unhappy. Somebody could be physically moving out, too. Also with the Ten of Pentacles, somebody could be moving out. What's coming in for you that you're unaware of? You have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is abundance. Uh looking good, stability. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please. Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, uh, clarified by the Ace of Wands reverse and the Seven of Wands. I swear we have Cancer. If you're not if you're not dealing with a Sag, I'm gonna be really or an Aries or a Leo. I'm gonna be really really surprised. I want to say I have every wand in the deck down here. There's lots of uh, fire down here. Lots of fire. I have very minimal. I don't really see much water here. I have very little earth, and the little earth I have is not in the best position. But um, I have lots of fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anyway, what's coming in for you? Uh, it looks like abundance. Um, with the Ace of Wands, somebody could have be trying to plan a new, plan something different. Again, if uh, if somebody's moving out or relocating somebody could be trying to uh, come up with a new plan with the ace of wands in reverse coming up with a, a new plan to how to do things how to move uh how to move move into move into a new direction whatever wasn't working this person has to come up it was, it was a, again it was this look it's the same damn card and this is so this is your conscious i'm sorry this is your conscious goal and this is what's coming in for you so i feel like your conscious goal you're going to actually do i'm sorry did i flip that i flipped the wrong damn card i'm sorry let me put that back <laughs> sorry the camera's backwards but the conscious goal over here is going to get flipped and you're actually going to take action on that but again this is just a goal for now so it hasn't happened but this is what's coming in for you you're going to you're going to replan your uh you could be replanning your life, you could be replanning your career, replanning where you're going to live, but it's whatever it is, you're going to replanning it, and then you're going to take action on it once, almost did it again, see, once this goes upright. And uh, clarifying that, we also have um, the Seven of Wands, which is a victory. 
So this is going to bring you a victory. You could come into some money, come into some stability, but this is going to bring you a victory. You have a victory coming, uh, coming towards you, Cancer. And your outcome, you have the Nine of Wands in reverse. So it looks like you're going to be letting your guard down, finally being able to let your guard down, not walking eggshells, be able to get to relax. Woo, sa. All that good stuff. What is the overall outcome for this situation, please? What is the overall outcome? Overall outcome, yes, so you do have some type of uh, good news of stability coming in. Let me get you some more. Please clarify. You have some type of good news coming in. Somebody's going to offer you good news in regards to you could get a, a callback from a job. You, if you're an actor or an artist, you could get a callback from an agency. You're going to get a callback from somebody. Like if you applied for a job, somebody's going to offer you, say, oh, here you go. It's like it, it's just going to fall on your lap. It's like it's yours. Somebody's just like, oh, here, take it. Like here, this like, I don't know how to get it. I don't know how to put it. Uh. This belongs to you. Nobody else is fit for like this is yours. Take this. Like literally going like this, handing it to you. Um please clarify. Clarify the page of pentacles. Could be a um Yeah, so whatever this is, you're gonna go you're gonna go nose first into it, a nine of pentacles in reverse. So whatever this is, you're going to dive deep into it. You're going to dive straight into it again. I'm flipping the wrong damn cards. I just I moved the camera if you guys haven't noticed, so I got to get used to yeah. So anyway, now this is going to be um, in the upright. I don't want I don't want to say what other meanings are because it doesn't pertain to this. But in this reading, um, whatever this offer that's coming in, you're going to dive straight into it again. This is yours. Like it's something that is, is yours, and you're going to. You're going to dive straight nose first into it. That's the best way I can explain it. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down. Let's go through all 12 signs real quick. And then we're going to use the unsent messages oracle deck. And I'm going to get y'all up out of here. What? Uh, let me see. Please connect me to all 12 signs of the zodiac in regards to this reading. All 12 signs of the zodiac in regards to this reading, please. And then, I'm all burping and shit, all right. All 12 signs of the zodiac, please, in regards to this reading. All 12 signs of the zodiac. All right. Cancer, if you're dealing with an Aries, your Aries is waiting. They're waiting, patiently waiting for something, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for some type of assistance, but they're waiting for something. They, somebody could be waiting for a letter in the mail, but they're waiting. The unsent message says... Can we just talk? It could be waiting to communicate with you. And again, the unsent messages, these are all the messages that never got sent, whether they were typed up in a draft or just thought. These are all the messages that they wanted to say but just never did. And again, that's the unsent messages, Oracle Deck. You can find this at onwardstar.com. Shameless plug. Sorry, all right, back to the reading. <laughs> all right, uh, if you're dealing with a Leo, dealing with a Leo, they feel like they can't get a victory. They could be feeling like you wanted something. They've been feeling a sense of defeat, like they just, they didn't win. It's not going their way. Someone feels like they, somebody doesn't notice them either, or they're unnoticed. Sometimes I look at my phone hoping to find a missed text from you, but nope. Nothing. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, um, you're going to get some type of breakthrough, some type of clarity. Some type of, <coughs> excuse me. Some type of new information that you didn't have, you're going to get this about this uh, in regards to the Sag that you're connected to. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm working on it. If you're dealing with a fellow Cancer, again, you have the card of Cancer. If you guys can see it in the second view, you have the card of Cancer, Chariot. So if you're dealing with another Cancer, that would explain why you have the other Cancer card. And it looks like... Um, there could be issues between you guys seeing each other. You guys could be at a distance. I don't feel like it's a big distance, but somebody, you know, somebody is at a big distance because somebody's actually flying. Someone would have to fly to see. I feel like you're crossing over the ocean too, so you could be live overseas. But um, whatever this is, there could be issues, and it's causing the connection to actually come to a stop or just kind of just fizzle away. Time is of the essence. The clock is ticking. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, 
Um, you have justice in reverse. So if you're dealing with the Scorpio, um, it looks like things are still. Somebody could be going through some karma. This could be your karma you could be going through. Um, they could be going through karma, whoever side this falls on. But whatever it is, whatever was broken, it doesn't look like it's fixed. And if it is getting fixed, it doesn't look like it's uh, working out in your favor. This possibly could be going in, your, in the other person's favor. I still love you. I just have boundaries now. If you're dealing with a Pisces. A Pisces, it looks like they're giving up. Yep. My love comes with no terms or conditions. Just boundaries. If you're dealing with a Virgo. Virgo is starting something new. They could have just come into something new. So it's fortune. Feel like there's some type of celebration somebody came into some uh some type of money and they went and, like tricked trick their houses out or tricked out their yard somebody did something they came into some money but uh whatever the case it looks like there's a turning point somebody's going through some good some good luck i'm not ready to experience what i feel if you're dealing with the taurus you make the taurus very happy if it's not you, they're happy. Whether it's come from you or somebody else, their Taurus is happy. Please don't ask me right now. I don't want to tell you no. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Capricorn's uh, being very stubborn. You don't say. <laughs> Capricorn's being stubborn. They could be feeling like they're losing control over the situation. You, you could be getting the upper hand on them. I wonder what life would be like today had we been able to compromise. If you're dealing with a Pisces, I'm mean, sorry, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Aquarius is feeling a little bit insecure. They could be feeling a little bit jealousy. I feel like they're watching you. Uh, you could be leveling up or um, just looking good. You could just be looking really good. All eyes on you. And the person is looking, uh, feeling possibly like they lost you, possibly lost you to someone else or could fear that they're going to lose you to someone else and it's causing a little bit of insecurity and uh, jealousy I want the same things you want if you're dealing with a uh, Gemini Gemini looks like uh, they are not single they could be telling you that they're single but it doesn't look like they are it doesn't look like they're um, they could be connected to someone else but saying that they're single or just acting like they're single? They possibly also could be connected and not want to be connected. I'm getting three different I'm getting three different stories where somebody does want to be single, but they're not. Did I already say that? Whatever. I wish I could tell you the way I really feel. Like I said. <laughs> Should have just pulled that card first. And if you're dealing with a Libra. Dealing with the Libra, somebody possibly could be getting cut off after some uh, very straight and direct communication. Somebody could be getting... I'm homesick apart from you. That's sweet. So anyway, that's what I have for you, Cancer Sign. Um, if you're interested in the Unsent Messages Oracle deck that we just use here, you can find that at onwarstarot.com as well as private readings by me and um help if you need help evicting someone from your mind someone who's taking up space uh occupying space in your mind and not paying rent kick their ass out of there eviction i'm gonna help you do that that's onwardstyle.com anyway that's what i have please like share subscribe the subs if you're new here the subs uh, are very important uh to the channel so if you'd be kind enough to use your free will to do so uh the channel would greatly appreciate that i would too and um, if you don't want to, that's totally cool, too. Hopefully we can cross paths again if you like the reading and resonate it. And, yeah, I'll see you guys down in the comments section, all right? Y'all have a good night.